welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be recreating this really cute St. Patrick's Day set that I did. This is all done with gel polish. Yes, including the 3D four leaf clover. I'll show you how I did all of this using all of these great products, which I will have in the description box below. And I will also be swatching this, these six polishes from the Beatles collection. I just got these. They're a St. Patrick's Day collection and I'm looking forward to showing you those. And we'll also be using this chunky four leaf clover glitter as well as some gold chrome, uh, some rhinestones, and some stamping plates that I had that are St. Patrick's Day themed. So if you're really interested in this set, go ahead and stick around because you don't want to miss it. So I'm back. And what I'm going to be using is this Beatles St. Patrick's Day uh, set. It has green, orange, white, which are part of the Irish flag. It also has a green glitter, an orange glitter, and a gold glitter. Um, the perfect color combination for a St. Patrick's Day set. Now initially I was going to swatch these all on camera. However, for the sake of time and the video length, I went ahead and already Polish these nails with the basic colors of the green, orange, and white gel polish. The center nail has a no white top coat on it already because we're going to go ahead and chrome that nail with gold chrome as the base for the gold glitter nail. So we're going to open this up real quick. I'm going to put down a paper towel. I'm going to zap that for like 15 seconds so that it can go ahead and be nice and warm and be more receptive to the uh, chrome. Um, if you haven't used chrome before, it's better done on a freshly cured nail. I just cured the nail right before starting the camera up again, but I figured let me just heat it up just again a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and get that gold chrome onto that center nail. And this is actually such a pretty color. And the chrome goes on beautifully. I, I forgot where I got this. I believe I just picked this up from like AliExpress. But um, most of the chromes today work really great. Um, uh, some of them, it, depending on what it is, if it's a mermaid chrome, you, um, it sometimes it works better on black polish um, to show up. But since this is gold, it works wonderfully um, on this white polish. See how clear that chrome came out? Look how beautiful that is. Nice and smooth. Now the key to getting a good chrome application is your base layer. If, if you have bumps or you didn't properly cure the base of your nail, the chrome doesn't come out as smooth. Now in this case, we're going to be go um, covering it with this gold polish, uh, glitter polish, but um, so we didn't, it didn't have to be that perfect. However, let me be very careful because none of the other nails have a uh, no wipe top coat yet because that I will be doing the green and orange glitter polish on that right now. There's the chrome nail, and we're gonna go ahead and right on top of that. After, let's do the let's go in order. First, we do the green. This green is so luscious. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pigmented. It's got amazing glitter in it, and when you apply it over this nail, it looks fantastic. Now, I always put down a, a base layer to match the glitter in case there's little gaps and spaces, but this polish is really good. This has great coverage. Put a little bit more over here. Look how, look how evenly that's going on. Sometimes yeah, glitter polishes uh, have a tendency to need multiple multiple coats because of the fact that the glitter 
gets dispersed on the nail. I'm going to turn this around and do the tail end back here because I end up pulling it down to the front of the nail. But there we go. Look at look how beautiful that is. But as I was saying, sometimes glitter polishes they have uh, a clear base, which I think this one has a green tint to it. Um, but when you apply it, the glitter does, you have to do three or four layers for the glitter to really show up. And as you can see, I'm only doing one coat of this green glitter polish, and it is showing up spectacularly. Love, love, love this set. Beatles is really a great economical product. You know that I'm, I'm a fan of Madame Glam. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm using their no wipe top coat today. Um, I'm a big fan of Madame Glam, but when I saw this set, um, I had to get it because it had all the perfect colors for the St. Patrick's Day set. There we go. So we have two glitter green nails. Actually, in the original set, the original um, nail, the pinky, I just left it plain. But I really like the way the glitter looks in the other ones that I'm, I decided to go ahead and do a green glitter nail. And I may redo the original one so that I have a set that matches. But this is, this is spectacular the way it applies. So now we're going to do the orange. And I'm only going to put full orange on this one because in the original set, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. What I did was is I applied um, dots of all three glitter polishes on this nail. Um, and then I used my dotting tool uh, to swirl it, to almost marbleize the glitter polish. And I, I really like that effect. So... We're going to do that on this on the index finger now, but for the ring finger, we are going to just do a full gel polish, glitter gel polish on it. So let's get that on. Look at that. Look how bright that is. It brings that nail to life. It looks so pretty. Oh, I'm so impressed. Really, really, really impressed with this glitter polish. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, let me polish in the opposite direction because as I said I have a tendency to pull the polish down and I want it to be evenly distributed across the entire nail. There you go. Now again for the index finger let me go ahead and put a no wipe top coat. Actually I'm, I'm wrong. We're gonna put the gold glitter on the center nail and then we'll get to that swirling effect on the index finger. So let's go ahead. Look at that. I could have opted to put just a regular gold polish underneath or black polish or um, a yellow polish but I did the gold chrome because what it did was it actually makes the glitter stand out that much more. Look at that, it's so pretty. And these glitter polishes also, I found that you don't get a texture that you get. The glitter is really fine in these polishes. You don't get a texture that you get if you were to add glitter to a nail. And some glitter polishes, um, when you polish with them, they actually, you can feel the glitter on the nails. That's not the case here. Um, clean this chrome out of there. Um, these actually dry really smooth. So now for the index finger, like I said, it's a swirled effect. So what I did was the base of the nail is orange. So I'm going to go ahead and already apply the whole, I'm going to apply orange on the whole nail. And I'm making it a little bit thicker than usual so that I have enough polish to swirl with the green and gold. So you almost want to float it on. It has plenty on there. There we 
go. A nice decent layer of orange glitter. Look at that. And then you take the gold polish. I'm going to put a couple of dots of that. And again, right here, we're just creating the base layer. A little bit of dot of the gold. Let's put a dot of the green on here. Let it drip a little. The green can overpower the nail, so I didn't want to put too much. So I'm just putting tiny, smaller dots. There we go. And I think I might need one more little gold one up here to swirl into the green and the orange. Whoops, there's a little bit too much. So I'm going to take some of that off with my sponge tool. There we go. And I'm going to tilt it a little so that it flows a little. I don't want it floating off the side of the nail. And then I'm going to just grab my, my fidget stylus actually. The one that does not have a, a ball on the end of it. You could also use an art brush. But I like the way this, this works because you can actually control the very fine lines on this. I want to bring some of that green out into there. I'm going to bring some of the green down to here. And you don't want to do too much because then you'll get it all muddied. And the idea is not to mix them because then you'll end up getting a brown effect. But you do want to swirl it. <clears throat> I can see that I need a little more green at the bottom. Just a little bit. I'll put some right here. There we go. I didn't want the green to overpower it. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't want the green to overpower the nail, but it didn't have enough. And you still want the orange to be the basis or the, the featured color on the nail. So there we go. Look at that. I like this. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more gold up here. The colors are evenly distributed, but I think that maybe a tiny bit more gold right up here, swirled into that green, would finish it off. And that was correct. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Now, you let it settle a little before you cure it, otherwise you get a bumpy um, cure, and that nobody likes a bumpy cure. So. <laughs> And then also, rethinking this nail here, I haven't cured it yet. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the, the glitter. The reason being that the detail on this nail here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see. The stamping on this nail is actually fine line work. It's a, it's a Celtic knotting effect. And I think if I put the glitter under that now in hindsight, I really like the way this looks because it looks almost like 3D because of the double stamping. And I don't want to lose that effect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe with my no lint, my lint free wipe. I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol because it is gel polish. You don't have to use acetone. And I'm just going to take off that layer of glitter on that last nail. Right, look, how, look how easy that came off. There we go. And what I might do, because I have to top coat all of these with no wipe top coat anyways, I'm just going to go ahead because it took off the, um, the shine a little bit off of that nail. Let me go ahead and zoom back out a little. I have a tendency to forget and then can't see what I'm doing throughout the rest of the video so go ahead and get that in place. I'm going to go ahead and put back another layer of this. I could just top coat it but let me just go ahead and add a second coat because all of these nails technically have a second coat. They're glitter polishes but they have a second coat. 
Yeah, that's better. Much better. And look how easy these, this smooth this applies. This is just regular gel polish, green gel polish. I was not a fan of green, but I actually went and bought a whole set of greens because I realized that I need the green for certain nails and certain details and stuff and I didn't really have very many green polishes. There we go. So I'm going to get these in the lamp. I'm going to cure them and we're going to come back and give them all a nice little no wipe top. Actually, I'll do that off camera as well. Uh, no wipe top coat. I'll come back and then we'll start working on the decorations. So stick around. Okay, so I'm back and I applied a no wipe top coat to these three nails, but I have not yet applied it to this one or this one. This is the reason why. On this nail, in the original set, I don't know if you can tell when I originally showed you the set, there are four leaf clovers embedded in the gel polish. So what I'm going to do is apply it on camera now and we're going to go ahead and use these beautiful four leaf clover glitters. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. They have such a pretty shine. We're going to just use those and apply them to the nail. We only need a few. So I'm going to just take a little bit out. And then on this nail, we are going to use um, just some crystals, some green crystals at the top of the nail. Because I think that nail came out so pretty and that I liked the effect that it had that um, all it needed was a little bit of crystal. So I'm going to look in here. I have, here we go. I really, this is really cute. I'll put the link to this on Amazon. I got this on Amazon. I'll put this on the, in the description box. This is different than some of the other ones you've seen where all four come out. This one, they come out individually. So you can take one or two out, keep the box to the side. It has three of these boxes in the set. I think it was something like $21, but I think it's worth it because you get 84 of these little cubes to hold your, your bling in. So we're going to take a couple of these out. I'm going to, I'll do this separate. I'll tell you why. Because then I can pour these back in and not have them mix and it'll be a nightmare to get them back out of this little tray. So we're going to apply a no wipe top coat. You want it to be a little bit thick on the green nail. Just a little bit thicker than usual because we're going to push the four leaf clovers down in there. And then we're going to cure it and then we're going to put two more layers of no wipe top coat because I'm going to file them so that you cannot feel the four leaf clovers in the nail. Almost as if you were doing an encapsulation but I'm just going to do it with gel polish. I was originally going to encapsulate with the um, like a builder gel but I decided against that because I didn't want to one bulky nail and then four thinner nails. So I put a generous amount and just take my bling tool because it picks up these things really nice. And then you just randomly put them. I put some upside down. I put some on here straight up. I'll flip one over. Put it upside down. Yeah, that one could be upside down glasses on for this. I don't normally wear glasses but when I'm doing um, the nails I like to use these magnifying glasses. They're actually reading glasses. I had LASIK surgery but this these glasses allow me to see so close. So I'm going to put another one upside down right about there. I think I can get one more. I'm going to go ahead and move this one over and I will get Another one right at the top. I'm going to put that one upside down. 
And basically, you try to put them across the nail. You don't want it to be too random, but you don't want it to be too uniform either. You want it to be whimsical. And don't worry if you're getting a little bit of gel polish on the top of them, because you're gonna, again, we're gonna give this two coats of uh, gel polish. And I'll do that off camera. You don't have to watch me put gel polish. But I will come back with a, a filed nail and then do a top coat, a final top coat, so that it can reveal all these gorgeous um, clovers. And I, I love using these things, big chunky glitters, butterflies on another nail that I did. Um, this just makes it look so pretty. And you can see how that's starting to form. It's almost like the four leaf clovers are falling randomly down the nail. I'm going to go ahead and get one more in here. Actually, I'm going to put this one down here because I want the other one to be the opposite. Upside down. So, do I have to flip this over? I want the stem to be going the opposite of this one that I just put on. But yeah, I'm going to get this one right here, pick up two of them, there we go, this one right there, there you go, and you can already see it, you see how they show up, they're embedded in that thicker layer of polish, the nails already smooth, I don't have any little bits sticking up, I'll turn it sideways so you can see. And if we put two layers of gel polish on that and then file it smooth or buff it smooth, that's going to create a really smooth nail and the clovers are going to look like they're floating. So now that we're done with the clovers, I'm going to pour those back and we're going to do the bling on the second nail because why waste time and cure the nail nails individually when we can, oops, we can go ahead and just do them all together. There we go. Simple but effective. We're going to get this in the lamp. I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to get ready to do some stamping. So I'm back and I went ahead and filed. I applied those two extra coats of no wipe top coat. I went ahead and filed with a 180 grit file and buffed this nail. And you can see already the the different four leaf clovers sticking out. There's one tiny little one where I guess it was sticking up a little bit and I filed it just a tiny bit, but it's not gonna be noticeable. So we're gonna go ahead and go in real quick with the top coat. This is really fun to watch. Look at that. Look at how pretty that looks. And they look like they're floating inside of that gel polish, because technically they are. You have one layer underneath them you have them embedded in there, and you have two layers on top. The nail is not bulky because I did not use a uh, builder gel. It is super smooth because I buffed it out. It is thin. Look at that. It's nice and thin, so you can see. And look at how pretty that glitter looks. Gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the lamp. I'm going to get these three nails ready on a separate stand so that we can do the stamping. So I'll be right back. So I'm back and we are ready to do the stamping. On the middle nail, which is this gold nail, we have a little leprechaun with the words Luck of the Irish, Luck of the Irish on there. On the orange nail, which is the ring finger, we have the word lucky and we have this 3D uh, four leaf clover which I've left for the last uh, to show you how I made that in detail. And on this nail we have basically some uh, Celtic knotting and then what I did was I put a gold stripe across here and also some gold bling. Now all of this stamping I'm going to speed it up. Um, you've seen stamping before. I will show you the colors 
and I will try to have them in, I'm, I'm going to have them in the description box, but I will take my time uh, displaying them because we'll be in fast motion. But basically for the leprechaun, you need these colors. You need the skin tone for the face. You need the um, green for a base. And then I have a hollow green that I put, I'm going to put on top of it as a second layer. So I'm double stamping um, with these polishes um, to get a nice, deep color because the glitter um, pulls away a little bit from when you're stamping on it so I wanted to make sure that the images showed up nicely um, that's another reason why I left this alone because the detail in the um, stamping that's going to be on this nail I wanted it to stand out the plates that I'll be using are clear jelly stamper plates um, this is CJS uh, H14 it's a St. Patrick's Day plate and as you can see the leprechaun happens in four stages. I put the um, the clothes on first then I put the face then I put the beard and the hat and everything and then I outline it. We're also going to be putting these words there's the look of the Irish words excuse my overhead lamp look of the Irish right there and then for the this nail right here it's just this word lucky at an angle and then for the final nail i have this second plate which this is where i'm getting my celtic knot from there's the celtic knot and then the detail the lining of it now the good thing about clear jelly stamper plates is they come with samples of what your final stamping should look like so that you can piece together the different stages. Um, again, I'm flipping these two because I want the face to be behind the scenes, the, the face color, and then I want the beard and, and uh, the shoes to stand out. And um, But that's the, lep that's the leprechaun right there that gives you color suggestions. And the word lucky isn't on here, it's just the standard lucky. And then for the little plate that I have, I also have a sample card. And there is a sample of the Celtic knot. Now, um, with this Celtic knot, the image is not long enough to fill the whole nail. So I have to do it in two stages. What I do is, is I get as much of it as possible on the nail. And then I will go ahead and take and put a little bit more to fill the top of it. And where they intersect is where I ended up putting the, the stripe, the striping tape and the, um, the gems. So we're going to just be using this gold striping tape that I have and um, some regular tiny gold gems that I had um, in this little wheel, these little gold ones. So all of that will be on camera. It'll be in fast motion so that you can see how I did it and that we don't waste uh, time and that way I allow more time to show you the four leaf clover on the um, the orange nail so I'll see you on the other side of stamping
Okay, so now that we have all of the stamping done on these, hopefully you saw what I was doing, how I pieced that together. I'm gonna go ahead and apply no wipe top coat to all of these to protect the images. You see my cute little leprechaun, the word lucky on the center nail. Make sure that you get a nice even coat. Don't scrape it so that you don't ruin the image that you stamped. Go ahead and get this on here quickly. I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to apply the striping and the bling to that last nail. Don't think anybody needs to see, um, to watch me apply striping and stones. Coat and this creates such a cool 3D effect because you're stamping over a layer of no wipe top coat. You get the shadow from the stamping onto the green below. I don't know if you can see that. Wait, let me let it stabilize. I'll zoom in a little bit to show you what I mean. We've got the green underneath and then when you put a no white top coat and then you stamp over it, it, it casts the shadow from the stamping. So when you tilt the nail you get the actual 3D floating effect of the stamp. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this in the lamp. I'm going to put the striping and the um, stones on this one I'll set all of them aside except for actually I'll set this one aside as well and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do this really cool uh, 3d I'm sorry four leaf clover 3d four leaf clover let me zoom back out again I'm, I'm too tight on my shot there we go it's a four leaf clover I did it by hand I did it with gel polish and it's actually quite easy to do there we go so we'll be right back. All of this will be cleaned up and we'll be ready to go for the four leaf clover. So stick around. So we're back and these are the five nails. I've gone ahead and top coated. I applied the striping and the gold gems to that pinky nail. So these are all finished. The last thing we have to do is this 3D four leaf clover. And how I did that was I used four hearts from this really pretty rose gold set. I almost wish the set was rose gold because I could have just left it just like this because it's so pretty. But I took four hearts out of here. These are just little embellishments that I purchased. There's some um, lips. There's some hearts. There's some uh, 3D... Uh, diamonds in there really pretty but we just need the four hearts so the way this works out is if you take and these are raised they have they have like a little curve to them but if you take these four um, hearts and you butt them up against each other with the points touching like this you're basically creating your four leaf clover so I'm going to use this as the structure for my four leaf clover I'm going to use gel polish to actually create the clover itself but I thought that was really cool so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I've got my sticky backing. This is just, again, postage meter tape. You can use a nail form, but you have to do it on the, on the shiny side so that you're able to lift this off when we're done. I've got my tweezers ready to go. I've got my two gel, uh, gel polish, glitter gel polishes, which I will be using. I'm going to use just the ones from the set. I've got no wipe top coat to finish it off. So this is how I did it.
done with this we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds in the lamp so that, that can finally set you see how you see the 3d on the hearts 30 seconds in the lamp and I'll be right back because we need to put one gem in the middle apply it to the nail and then we're done so stick around so I wasn't going to show this part on camera, but I think this is so cool the way this backing paper works, the way it helps. Um, it pops right off. Just give it a little nudge underneath and the whole thing slid right off. I barely had to touch it. So I'm back and we are done with the nails. I have attached the four leaf clover to this nail with just regular gel polish. It's not going anywhere. Again, if you were to do this on a real client, you would want to put some kind of builder gel to really hold it on like you do your larger gems. Um, but this is fine for the nail art. I really like this set. I like the way it came out. I love all these cute little clovers in the thumbnail, the way they look like they're floating, the swirl effect of the three glitters and the gems, this cute little leprechaun dude. <laughs> I really like this set. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please don't forget to like the video. Comment below on other things you'd like to see me try. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you to those who are already subscribed. I really appreciate your support. My channel is growing slowly. Um, it's fairly new, but it's really nice to see that people are enjoying what I, what I do and that they want to come back for more. So until our next video, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.